Well, we have a uh, a, a change in government. The federal government in the United States of America uh, supposed to be changing hands, you know, fairly soon. The people should elect a new president. That is what everyone believe, but uh, I don't believe that. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the, uh, the more I analyze the situation, the more terrified I am. Because we are no longer gathering, not even on the private political parties, we no longer electing nominees. I have no idea who is electing these nominees, but we physically that do not even talk to one another anymore. Now everything is a show on television, radio, and other uh, ways to disseminate information. The problem is that, that those companies, those uh, companies who provide those services of disseminating the information are controlled by somebody. And this somebody, highly likely, are enemies of the United States of America, like the BBC London, like uh, Rupert Murdoch, they buy his uh, citizenship, like all these other guys, they run this so-called media or environment, uh, information technology companies, they, all of them have been educated in Europe by uh, people not from the United States of America to the point that they they not even articulate the name of our country the United States of America so we have a convention a political private party convention where no one is attending <laughs> I mean what kind of crazy thing is this? And this is the people that is going to supposedly lead the United States of America. But what I see is people like Brandon being thrown up in jail for utilizing those political parties to enrich themselves. Let's build a wall and I'm going to get rich about it. And I take my hat to, uh, to uh, the Department of uh, Justice where he or her or whoever is running that department right now, I have no idea, especially in New York City, uh, they are fighting back. They are defending the people of the United States of America. They indicted Mr. Brennan for stealing people's money, supposedly uh, geared to the wall in between the United States of Mexico and the United States of America that supposedly Mexico is going to be paying for it. Now apparently Brown, uh, Browning is getting the money in his pocket. So uh, for the first time ever I have no idea what is happening in the Democratic Party but I don't think anybody else knows what is happening in the Democratic Party. They got two candidates, uh, Mr. Joe Biden, a fellow that has spent, has spent his entire life dividing people, dividing people, not representing the people of the United States of America, telling you that they're going to give you, and that they're going to give you, and that they're going to give you, but all they give you is high taxes and pushing you to leave you young guys and girls to live with your parents again. They're pushing everybody from the East Coast and the West Coast into the center of the desert. That is what Joe Biden have given you. He denied you bossing so you can get a better education. He denied you anything that can unite us. He have denied. And now they select as a VP or vice president a United States of America national that no one actually 
articulate that. Kamala Harris, she is a United States of America national. Oh, no, 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 no. She is everything but a United States of America national. Kamala Harris, now she's Indian, she's African, she's black, she's uh, Latino. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, Kamala, she is Latino. <laughs> this lady, she's everything. Everything that divide us. Analyze this data. And all this is happening behind closed doors. The Democratic Party has ceased to exist. It's now just a television show. And you are following. Because you want to follow. You want to be L, B, G, T, C, D, and a every other letter in the alphabet. You want to be African American. You want to be, you already have beaten the, um, the identity of a sign by someone else and you like it. And you can no longer uh, articulate, I am a United States of American national. No, no Joe Biden, no Kamala Harris. No President Trump, no Pelosi, no Mitch McConnell, no anyone on television, radio, whatever. It's all about dividing you. And you like it. You will defend it. And that will destroy you. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> when you wake up, the English are going to be here ruling you. <laughs> and it's nothing you can do nothing you can do because you have become them like Mr. Brandon hopefully hopefully uh, they get to the bottom of that well let me stop my rant for today and uh, like I say I have no idea what is happening in the um, in the Democratic National Committee I've already been selected whoever is going to be running Joe Biden and, and uh, Camilla uh, in my opinion, the Electoral College have collapsed, no longer exist. The, the states somehow have completely uh, assigned those electoral electorals to whoever they please. So no one is actually in control. No one. No one is. No one is. Now, hopefully the institutions of the United States of America can uh, can can monitor what is happening and protect the people of the United States of America and hopefully the uh, the institution of the United States of America the, the the people who are serving the United States of America every single day will realize they cannot defend colors they cannot defend uh, 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 foreign entities they cannot defend um, uh, political parties, private political parties. Uh, they, they should defend the United States of America nationals, the people of the United States of America, and the, the geography of the United States of America. So hopefully, hopefully they are doing that, protecting us. Saludos. <laughs>